I'm going to show you how to create a dashboard template. This template will allow you to add additional information to the, to the dashboard and will also allow you to add different information that different information that's similar to the dashboard. So the first step that we do to create a template that you can keep adding to and keep refreshing is to create, create a table with your initial data. So what we're going to do is click somewhere on our debt in our table or in our in our data and then we're going to go insert table and it will create a table here. So now that now that we have a table, what we're going to do is we're going to start creating pivot tables in our table. So with somewhere within your table that you've created, you're going to put your cursor, you're going to click in there and then you're going to click pivot table. And it, it'll come up and it says, um, we're going to use this table and we're going to create it on, an, on a new worksheet and that's fine and we'll say okay. So what we have here is we have what our data is. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out sales and rental for a firm and we're trying to figure out how much people these how much these sales persons made so let's put the salesperson in the rows box and then we're going to put the amount in um in the uh, in the values box and so basically there you have there you have the total sales for these individuals now, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a pivot chart on here. So from the pivot table analyze, we're going to click on chart. And this one looks fine, so I'm going to say OK. And so now we have our chart. And so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this chart. And then we're going to go move chart. And I've already created um, a sheet that's called dashboard. And so I'm going to move this chart to the dashboard and say, OK. And so now we go to the dashboard and here's our chart. So to start uh, my dashboard, I just have um, the, the name of, the, of the, the dashboard. And then I have my logo or a logo that would be suitable for it. And so now what I'm going to do here is I have the sales. And so I'm going to put on a slicer. So let's go the slicer and we, we're going to go by the type of equipment they sold. And it'll say OK. And so now I'm going to bring my slicer over here. And uh, so you could go, for example, um, you could go by rental and see how that changes it. Or you can just turn it back off again and then you're there. So now let's go go back to our original dashboard or our original data and let's choose another uh, pivot table. So I'm going back to the insert tab. I'm going to pivot table and I'm going to do another sheet. And this time I would like to go by the type of sales that they've done. So I'm going to go by type and I'm going to put that on the rows. And and so let's go by the amount for the type. And so now let's do a pivot chart and let's let's select the pie chart. And um, I like the three dimensional one. And so, OK. And one more time, we could uh, right click this and move it to our dashboard. And so I'm going to say move it to dashboard and say OK. Now what we're going to do is we are going to move it down below our other chart and let's put it on the other side. And let's insert a slicer for this as well. I'm going to go by salesman and say OK. So now we have And there we go. And so then for our third and final one that we're going to do on this, what we're going to do is we go back to our initial chart. We're going to go insert a pivot table. And we're going to go uh, say OK. And we're going to create a new chart. 
And on this one, we're going to go by the date, by the date it was sold. And so let's go on this row. And then we're going to go by the amount one more time. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make a chart with this one. So we'll click on the pivot chart. And um, let's do something different. Let's do a bar chart, possibly. And let's do 3D. And let's go OK. One more time, let's move this to, um, to our dashboard. So we're going to bring it down. All right. One more, we could also uh, make make a slicer on this one. And so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, do by uh, type and say OK. So here we have our basic dashboard done. You could you could make it as fancy as you want to make it. But the point is, is that it is a dynamic dashboard. So uh, right now, if we go back to sheet one, we have data that is starting at uh, April. And so if we wanted to uh, delete this data and put some other data in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the first row and I'm going to drag across. And I have about 4,000 rows in here, so I'm going to go Control Shift Down Arrow, and then I'm going to um, delete this. And now I have another um, another chart of data, and it's I have it named as June because the sales start in June. So I'm going to select this data, Control C, and I'm going to put it back on my sheet one. And I'm going to put it here and I'm going to press enter. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the data tab. First of all, let's go back to our dashboard. And here you see all of our um, our tables looking very much or our charts looking very much like they were. So let's uh, go to the data tab and let's refresh all. And now you can see that all of your uh, You've changed this chart. You've put new data in there, and the all the charts have changed, or charts and graphs have changed automatically. Now, same thing. So let's go um, undo and and undo and one more time undo. And so now we have uh, April data back in here. So let's go and select June again. And let's add additional data to our um, April data. And so now what we're doing is we're going to go to the end. And so I'm going to I'm going to press click here and I'm going to go Control V and press uh, June data in there. And so one more time, I am going to go to my dashboard and I'm going to go uh, to the data tab and I'm going to go refresh all. And now we have the additional data added in here. And so with, with what I've showed you, you can add, remove, and change data. So this is how you create an Excel dashboard template. Please subscribe.